Now, the Securities and Exchange Commission is proposing that companies and registrars in custody of dividends which remain unclaimed by shareholders 12 years after the date of declaration or have attained 12 years after the proposed new law will become effective will transfer the unpaid dividend into the Nigerian Capital Markets Development Fund. And now been joined on the program by the Deputy Director of Legal Services at Nigeria's Securities and Exchange Commission, Ms. Frana Chukwogo. She was speaking to us from our Abuja studio. Good morning. And thank you for joining us on the program. Good morning. Now, why did the SEC come up with this proposal? Thank you for inviting the Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, if you can hear me, I asked you, why did the SEC come up with this proposal? Uh, thank you, Bolaji. As you know, the SEC has been in the forefront of managing the quantum of unclaimed dividends. If it's possible, we would love to eliminate it completely. So this is one of our initiatives to make sure that unclaimed dividends are properly managed. In this regard, as you would uh, know, the Companies and Allied Matters Act regulates unclaimed dividends. However, Section 385 of this particular act provides for what would happen to the dividend up to 12 years. It doesn't, however, say what happens to the dividend after the 12 years. So the SEC noticed this gap and being the apex regulator for the capital market, decided to close the gap by enacting these rules. As you have earlier mentioned, the rules is just requiring registrars and companies that have dividends that are up to 12 years which is the statute lim limitation period where a shareholder can walk up either to a company or to a registrar to claim their dividends. So in this respect, the SEC is saying if these two categories of persons, the registrars and the companies, have unclaimed dividends that are up to 12 years, they should transfer it to the Nigerian Capital Market Development Fund. This would ensure that these dividends are effectively and efficiently managed for the benefit of the investors. We are also requiring these companies to make returns and to report to the SEC on their compliance. We have placed these rules on our website and investors and other share stakeholders in the capital market, they have about 15 days to take a look at it and send in their comments to the SEC. Now, as it's January this year, unclaimed dividend stood at 90 billion naira. Now, if the proposal is passed uh, into law, uh, would the Capital Markets Development Fund also absorb the previous amount of money that has actually mounted up as unclaimed dividends? Well, if that happens, that would be a welcome development for the Securities and Exchange Commission. Right now, our focus is to manage that bit of it that's already crossed the threshold of 12 years provided for in karma. Some people are already asking that that 12-year limitation be removed so shareholders can walk up at any time and lay claims to the dividends because everybody wants to enjoy the benefits of an investment they have made. If it doesn't happen, however, the quantum that's already accumulated in unclaimed dividends would very much benefit the capital market. As you know, if that money is re-injected into the capital market, it will boost liquidity. It would help the SEC further advance some of the infrastructure projects they are pursuing, especially in terms of technology, to make sure that processes are seamless, that the reportings that you require to make are very transparent, that that uh, stakeholders have processes and have you know, issues that they want addressed in the most transparent and efficient manner. As you already know, the SEC had initiated something this year on e-dividend management, requiring every investor and shareholder to complete e-dividend mandate forms to ensure that dividends that companies declare 
to them accredited directly to the account so that we can curb this particular issue. However, you mentioned the Nigerian Capital Market Development Fund. Yes, this is a fund the SEC has already incorporated with a, comp with a um, uh, <coughs> Corporate Affairs Commission and this particular fund, the SEC, because of how important it is to really advance the cost of the investors, we've ceded 5 billion naira to this particular fund. What would this fund do? Essentially, we're going to use whatever goes into this fund to develop the capital market and focus on initiatives that are beneficial to investors, like financial literacy and investor education, and like I mentioned earlier, to build up on systems and processes, focusing on technology. Additionally, the fund would, be, would have a board, the board will be part of the uh, executive management of the Securities and Exchange Commission. You will have capital market operators. You would also have independents that would include shareholders and other critical stakeholders. And it will be managed by a fund manager. What we intend to accomplish at the end of the day is to make sure that these funds that prior to now reside with the companies is plowed back into the capital market mm -hmm. to benefit the investor who in the first place had generated these uh, funds. Okay. We did not decide on this overnight. We looked at benchmarks, looked at what people were doing in other jurisdictions like India, like Kenya, like Australia. Unclaimed dividends are credited to a fund. Usually the funds are focused on investor education and investor protection related issues. Now, some, sh some shareholders are actually kicking against uh, this initiative what uh, level of consultation did the SEC did before arriving at proposing this kind of initiative? Uh, as you know, um, thank you for, for, for this question. As you know, we have so many platforms for consulting with our, our stakeholders, particularly the shareholders. In this particular um, aspect, this is the first step we have articulated these rules. We have put it on our website. The shareholders will go take a look, send us their comments, we will consider it before we come out with a final proposal. Additionally, everyone has been on this issue for how many years? The legislators are very much aware of it. The market operators are very much aware of it, even the shareholders themselves. Sometimes change is difficult, but this is a structural kind of change that would benefit the investor. If I were an investor or a shareholder, I would rather not even have dividends that are not claimed. That's what the SEC has done with the e-dividend management system and with dematerialization. But we're going further to say, even for those funds that have attained the statute of limitation. Let us plow it back and have it benefit the investor. So I would be surprised that a shareholder may not be for this. Maybe what the shareholder should be advocating is that the statute of limitation placed on when a shareholder can collect on their dividends um, should be removed from karma. If that is done, whenever the shareholder turns up, they can indeed claim from this fund. So it wouldn't be like they're forfeiting the money. But in the time being, these funds need to be put to productive use okay. for the benefit of the shareholders and for the benefit of the market. All right. Thank you so much, Frana Chukwogo, uh, Deputy Director, Legal Services at the Securities and Exchange Commission.